and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Elusives. So this is another donation deck, a uh, viewer submitted deck, just like our, our last one, that is looking to be really aggressive. This is a real aggressive version of Elusives, um, pairing Ionia with PNZ and winning in the air. So not only do we have our, our um, different Elusive um, allies, but then we got burn spells to back them up with Mystic Shot and Get Excited to help finish out games. But then we got pump spells. We got Rising Spell Force that can do uh, four, four damage. That's a lot of damage. You know, Twin Disciplines we can use either as protection or uh, help us finish out those games with the three damage. And then we also even have Vault Breakers. I'm a little skeptical on three Vault Breakers, but we're, you know, like that's that's what we got in here. Um, you know, if we have more, like the game kind of goes on longer, we have like six spell mana, we get to double cast it, make it an additional four damage for us. We can even do some uh, some racing with some lifesteal with Kinku Life Blade and Spirit's Refuge, both giving us lifesteal. Um, but yeah, so I think, I think this deck's like, against like all these decks on the ground, we're trying to... Uh, win with our elusives and like where they can't be blocked and use some pump spells and some tricks and get a lot of damage in and just have this damage add up. That's what we got. So we're going to be racing in the air. Here we go. Ezreal elusives. Let's see how it does. Oh, we're facing another elusive deck. Facing championless elusives. That could be bad for me. Definitely could be bad for me. Because then, like, the Shadow Seer is probably not going to hit. I guess it will hit unless they... Yeah, I guess we'll keep Shadow Seer. The only way it doesn't hit is if they... Um, block. And if it blocks, then we just trade. Right, so that's not bad. And especially how I, I have the attack token on turn two. Everything's better with company. Says you. Hold up. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that trade. Swift and silent as the breeze. Hmm. Solitary Monk's a big one. Fast as wind, light as air. The Yordle here's with me. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. <clears throat> All right, so they they definitely had protection like for their thing. I could attack with my th my three one and then use whatever kind of protection. I'm just gonna have them waste that mana and pass the turn. Hmm. Now we have a solitary monk. Do I just play Solitary Monk and pick all these things back up? Uh, maybe. Mayhaps. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Now let's play Ezreal. Pump both of those up. I don't think I want to block with Shadow Assassin, right? Because I want to pick up Shadow Assassin. It's 
Uh, this Green Glade Duo is just much more valuable. See what they got. So we could, ca could cast a Nezreel's Mystic Shot. Try to free up this Ezreal, but they could also break up that plan quite easily. things to do. It's a tough game. You know, like, I bet they have a hey, bunch of That's decisions. You're not sure exactly where to go with them. See if they got more protection. They are taking their time, really thinking about it. Planning. Let's just pick stuff back up. Alright, so we'll Spirit's Refuge. Let's move. If I we'll must kill this thing. It, otherwise, it's like, you know, a 2-1 and a 2-2 two -two normally. Alright. We won the Elusive War. King of the Elusives. There was not a single... Um, unit played on either side that was not elusive <laughs> that game. So if they're all elusive, then none of them are elusive. Alright, so deep decks have a lot of blockers on the ground, right? So maybe our elusives can fly over and win. I don't know if I really like Blade Scout. Like, Blade Scout just does two damage and then gets blocked. Let's mulligan Blade Scout. This combination does feel a little awkward. Play two drop, then play Solitary Monk and pick it back up. 
We'll just keep the spell mana to be able to have our twin disciplines. Shot's good. Gets golden glory. Huh. Kill this lifesteal thing. Set the hooks. And yes, I could save it. But if I save it, then I can't play the other so solitary monk. Right, like you can never have two solitary monks in play because one just picks up the other. We'll just we'll just play the other. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Devourer. So I got a twin disciplines to save that. With the plus zero plus three. Unfortunately. The Yordle here is with me. I need no weapon. It's a lot of damage, down to seven. We got a lot of damage in hand, too. Just gotta connect with something. On that thing, they have they have Withering Whale. That'll be bad. Why do they have to have Withering Whale? Basically, because of the life gain. Let's see. So that puts them up to ten. I just had one more mana. If I could play like both of these, I'm gonna play one more thing. So. Uh, let's see, Spirit's Refuge here, and we deal 2 damage, or Rising Force, do 4 damage. Hmm. Might as well just double Vault Breaker for 4 damage. That doesn't kill that thing? Right, because so my thing's only a 2 4. Don't kill my Kinku Life Blade. Just play a Nautilus or a Maokai. Bleh. All right, so we have to draw either a Get Excited or just any Ephemeral. Or not Ephemeral, sorry, Elusive. Any Elusive.
trying. Am I and that's why we have one uh, Shadow Seer in the deck. Attacks for three, they're at three. These withering whales. Come on. Of our deck, you know, like we're we're just all in. We don't really have much defense. We don't really have uh, much play to it. But yeah, they just had all their withering whales thing. Came close. That was really good for my opponent because yeah, they they had you know two devour the depths. For removal, they had a Jaw Hunters. Like they had a lot of their removal. A deck doesn't play that much removal. Those Devour the Depths were really good too. And yeah, the three Withering Whale. GGs. Hey Reaper. All good. How's your weekend been? Keep a second Ezreal for whenever they kill the first one. The card I'm not very sold on is Vault Breaker. Okay. Getting that school work done. Very, very good. Yeah, stream's going good. We've, um... Yeah, had a lot of fun, interesting games. You know, records are looking, you know, pretty 500-ish, but that just kind of is how... Uh, you know, that's just how close, like, all these games are. Some we win, some we lose. It's really a good... Um, Fast as wind, light as air. I need no weapon. Good representation. So they want to pass turn. I think I let them. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? How do we possibly ever beat Heimerdinger? I guess we can't, can we? Like, if they just have a bunch of three mana cards and put out a bunch of three mana turrets, I guess the game's over. Let's move. If I must. <laughs> I 
mean, I could just concede right now. I don't think we can win. Rain from a cloudless sky. I guess if we are going to win, we need to get as much damage as we can in. Unlucky. Nope. We're not going to win. Yeah, there's, there's not very many things that beat Heimerdinger her into double... Um, gosh, I can't even think of that card. Flash of Brilliance. I can't even think of that card's name. Not many things that, that beat Hybridinger into double Flash of Brilliance anyway, but it's certainly not our deck. Alright, so this is a deck with a bunch of stuff on the ground. Hopefully our elusives can do... Pretty good here. Hmm. Alright, that card's probably going to be giving a bunch of their stuff a lot of pluses. Not good. Can't cast the Mystic Shot. I think that's okay. It's better than. I think it's better than playing Blade Scout. I want to end round. I know we miss out on one point of damage. I mean, they only waste one That's total dangerous. mana. I'm in. Can't stop me. Okay, cool. We got that point of damage and they didn't use it anyway. gonna likely cost me it's feel like it's gonna be difficult to finish this game out now and get 19 points of damage across I think this deck, I gotta be real aggressive. Gotta do everything up there. We're not a control deck of like kill little two ones. We have to be real aggressive. Oh, turn five. Or no, it's not turn five, but it's just five mana. So yeah, how much damage is this? Thirteen damage. Thank you. 
So let's see, next turn we're going to have 7, plus the 3, we'll have 10, so we'll have enough for all of this. Charge. <clears throat> so if they don't have any removal... Uh, no, it's only four, that's 14, so I can just cast this, it's 14 damage. Okay, wait, how does that change things? So that's four, eight. Oh, I've got ten. I can't. I can't cast all of those. Hmm. Harvey. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Then put him down to four. And then I can do the two damage with Mystic Shot. To put him to two. I can do this thing to put him to one. I got twin disciplines. I'm not save, saved up for any removal. Let me do this. There's not really a difference between two and one, damage wise. All right, Zeron. Yeah, you want me? Are right, you redeemed to the change of pet? What would you like me to change? Change the pet to who? Do you, who would you like the new pet to be, Zeron? Silverwing. All right, let's get some Silverwing in here. All right, Silverwing. We need you to help us out with our our elusives. We need some. We need some birds. We're certainly an all-in deck, but it feels like our all-in deck's pretty weak. I don't know. I guess we could keep get excited. So maybe keep one of them. Keep one get excited. Lady Elise, where are you? Hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> v Trindamir with Poros, good job. Says you. We can't really beat the card Withering Whale. That's a card we can't beat. And the card Will of Ionia. That's another card we can't beat. We have a couple of cards that we can't beat. Withering Whale and Will of Ionia. And it doesn't seem like a great spot to be where you can't beat those two cards. I have unfinished business. speed ahead. Alright, yay, no withering whale. We still have a shot. No, okay. We still have a shot. That's a good draw. Yeah, that's a real good draw. Because they have all these saplings. It's gonna like kill all my stuff. 
but we'll just put him back. Say, don't kill all my stuff. Please, thank you. Say, a bunch of damage. Lista levels up. That's okay. Good. Let's see. What if I Spirit's Refuge this thing? Next turn we have six mana. It's not bad. The reason the reason why I want to do this is I don't want um, I don't want the Withering Whale just to kill everything. Oh. Well, okay, so if they have Withering Whale, I lose. But if they don't, we probably win. We just gotta get a little bit of damage in, and then we have all these burn spells. Yeah, get rid of Grasp. Yeah, deny wouldn't be bad. I definitely see playing some deny in here. I'm just not sold at all on these vault breakers. Even like the the rising forces. Awesome. That's just nine right there, and they don't have any removal. Is there? There are a good amount of decks that are like kind of like these mid rangey decks that don't play too much removal. And I think that's that's really what this is going for. Because usually like the deep decks don't have a lot of removal. Um, but the the one that we played against had all three withering whales, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this is definitely not a deck that's built to win a long game. You know, like Steel Tempest doesn't help with a long game. You know, it is. Like these uh, spells like Vault Breaker, Rising Spell Force. Gotta win quickly with this thing. <clears throat> but yeah, like just like the Demacia decks, you know, don't play a lot of removal, and you can usually win um, in the air against them. Same with the deep decks. Um, and that's that's kind of what, what is uh, going on with this one. All, same, same with like the Endure Spiders, you can race them um, with all these elusives. <laughs> Hey Luke, it's like there's there's some good good matches, good matchups in the meta game. Thank you so much there, Luke. Thanks for that uh, Twitch Prime sub. Um, but yeah, you know we could we could uh, change this and, and have it be able to play a longer game. It you know wouldn't be as wouldn't be as explosive and uh, therefore wouldn't have like the other matchup like those matchups that I talk about wouldn't be as good if you played denied instead of Vault Breaker. If I could see like Windfarer Hatchling in this kind of deck, like another um, big elusive to make these things bigger, maybe more direct damage, maybe like Augmented Experimenter just to refill your hand, um, Suit Up seems like a card that would be really good in this deck. Like Suit Up seems like a better uh, a better Vault Breaker. Most of these things, besides Solitary Monk, everything else are like 2-1s and 2-2s, two you know, 1-3, even this thing's a 2-2. Two two. Like, they're all pretty small, so Suit Up is like plus 2 damage to any of those things, but then permanently. And also um, really increases that toughness to keep these from dying to 1-1 one, to one, uh damage removal like that's that's like one small change that you know we can still be super explosive but instead of like vault breaker we could have suit up be protection and damage i think that that would be a real good change um thanks luke thank you yeah because like ezreal as a 4-4 is a lot better for sure same with like green glade duo would just be a 4-4 but would still be getting the plus one plus zero each round um as well and you, you can kind of use this as like a twin disciplines, like they mystic shot your shadow assassin and you suit it up. 
So it's kind of like your twin disciplines, but then also is a permanent buff. So yeah, like that's that's probably the that's probably one change that I'd really want to make. Get suit up in here. But yeah, this is kind of interesting deck. You know, I hadn't I hadn't really even thought about a deck like this before. You know, like a really like an elusive burn deck. You know, like this this is an elusive burn deck. I know some people call that um, standalone deck elusive burn, which doesn't make any sense because it doesn't have any burn spells at all. But this is this is an elusive deck with burn spells. Um, so yeah, this is a hyper aggro elusive. Pretty cool. All right, those of y'all watch this later on YouTube, hit that like button. Uh, yeah, feel free to leave the comments about this donation deck. If you got any other ideas, like I, how I have the suit up idea, if you got any other ideas, you know, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, and yeah, give give this suit up a try. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if it improves the deck. Um, and uh, there we go. All right, so tomorrow is going to be Meme Tier Monday. The early stream starting 11 a.m. Eastern time. That's my early day, early stream start time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and then we'll have uh, um, uh, the later stream on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Wait, so I said Saturday the first time. I meant Sunday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. There you go. Every other day. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Ezreal Elusives. And I'll see you for the next video.